Welcome guys. Welcome to the channel. Well, today's home project, uh, if you're like me now, this is not for people that live in an apartment or in a city or a subdivision. This is for rural people living out in the country with a barn and old sheds and storage stuff around and out in the country. So, if you've been like me, it's either snakes, insects, or something all the time. Well, today's project is about getting real field mice. Now, I don't mind field mice, but when they get up here in the house, especially in the house, and you can't store a vehicle down there and under your shed or in your barn or a boat or something, because they will destroy it. They will make nest in it, they'll eat the wiring up in it, they'll eat the carpet up in it. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you've searched for this video. So what I'm gonna show you, this is not a trout, it won't catch them. This is poison, this, this like decon or anything else you put out for. But this right here does make a difference. I've used it about a year now, and I've noticed if I put my boat down there or my truck, there ain't, there ain't no nest in it, and and they they multiply like rats, the saying goes, like rabbits. So this, they get a bite of this, they just lay down and die. They don't they don't make it. So I've had this in. I haven't I haven't filled this up since winter time, and I'll show you how much they've eaten. Just a rod, just rod you can see here. The bait sticks it's on it, the little bars. They've been eating on that. And it was, this bars was all the way up to here. And they've eaten that much of it. And I've noticed a big difference. They haven't bothered me as bad in my vehicles. They haven't bothered me as bad in my boat, my trucks, your tractor, anything like that making this. And i tell you how bad they get. In my car last year, going down the road, turn the fan on, and the fan just locked up. Wouldn't run. Got it home, and tore it down, and they had a mouse that crawled from the intake air system back through the vent system, and he tried to go through the blower fan. He didn't make it. So he locked up in there. That was a mess to clean up. So you know what I'm talking about on these little field mice. They are a nuisance. Well, anyway, this trap, or bait dispenser, what we call it. I'll show you a drawing of it, how you can make your own. Now this is perfect to sit out around in your shed, in your barn, in, in your garages. This will get rid of them. So you stick around here and we'll show you. So first thing I want to do is I got to reload this. And these little bars I'll show you where we get where you can order these from. So, what I do is I got this on a rod. So it's it's full up to here and it's as they as they eat it, it just keeps going down, 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 gravity fed, down to there. And then you keep your eye on it like a dipstick. And it gets low, you fill it up. So I'm gonna show you how we fill them up here. This is just an eighth inch rod. These bait bars have got holes in the middle of them. Take your nut off of them. It don't matter, you can take either end off. You can just take this end off. Got a wing nut on top. this off. You can leave these old bars on here and let them continue eating. What I do just them back up. These like with me, I guess since uh, probably October since I've loaded this. And the slower it gets at eating it, that means there's not as many eating on it. But now when it goes fast, there's a lot of them eating it. It'll slow them down. Stack 
that thing up there. Put one more on it. I basically got that loaded. Now when you make these things, you can make them any length you want. The spurs you, the storage. Got the cap. Put your cap back on. Put your little washer on. Put your uh, lock nut or wing nut back on. Snug it up. There you see it. Slide this back in your tube. Now, when you make these things, I don't want to hurt the outside animals like big squirrels and stuff like that, or any kind of, you know, varmint, a coon, or a possum. The, you can make these any size you want, but I make mine an inch and a half. The reason I make it an inch and a half is a big squirrel cannot get in here in this tube. Cannot. Now, if you put these in the right areas, ground squirrels won't bother me. It's just put them in places where you've got field mice problems, like in a garage, in a barn, in a, in a storage shed, stuff like that, and this will control them. Now, you can't go no, really no smaller than an inch and a half because that's the size of your bars. And all they want to do is just slide in. So, one more time. this out. This sits down to here. This barely clears the bottom. So as they come in here and eat on this, it just keeps dropping down, feeding them more and more and more. And like I said, the faster you see it disappearing, that means there's a lot of them. But you'll notice a difference. It'll start slowing down. They ain't eating as much. That means you're taking care of your problem. But this is pretty handy. I'll show you dimensions of drawing on these. See it. They just go in there. Nothing else can reach it in there. Just dump that little bit of mice, rats. Okay. And you put these in places behind, behind all your storage stuff in a shed or in a room or in your garage, in your barn, or next to where your vehicle's parked or your tractor or whatever your boat. This will solve your problems. So stick around and uh, I'll show you where I've been sitting and uh, see what you think. Well guys, right here's the drawing dimensions. You want to make you one. You don't have to make it exactly just like this, but this is what I've made and it's worked pretty good. And you can see the finished end of it here on the right. So there you go. Now here's what we use for the bait, the bait bars. I can show you, I'll leave a description in the uh, at the end of the video on where to buy these and where to get them and please read all like as always when you're dealing with chemicals please watch your uh, read your instructions here on what uh, safety precautions is and that is you handle them wash your hands good that's all you can do so stick around and uh, we'll show you where I've been placing them. guys I've been putting mine here during the winter next to my stove because I got all this wood stacked up, plumb up to almost to ceiling. And they bad to carry everything in the world in there and make nests in it. So I like to put this one and put mine about right. Sit mine about right there. Come in behind this air conditioner. They try to get in the house too. So, there we set that one. I'll show you where I set some more. I like to set one down here too. I want to keep all this wood stacked. They're bad to, they're bad to get in under the garage too. And this is where you where you store your trucks, boats. Garage. I had to get in places like this right here. So, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I'll, I'll place these babies right in here. That stuff's weatherproof too. So, if you set them, they'll crawl in there and get them a bite, and they're gone. 
See, I put them in places like this too. Places like this up under your shed, your barn. You can put them in your stalls or whatever where you've got rat problem, mice problem. So, there we go. Oh well, guys, here's the here's the bait bars I've been putting in these uh, dispensers. It's a Ramic Neogen one one six three three one, and that's what I've been using. It's been pretty good. Now you can get this at Tractor Supply. You can look online and you can Google it, and you can get it at uh, Amazon, eBay, just wherever you find it's cheapest. I believe I got two bags a year ago. And I give about $40, $50 for them, so they last a long time. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you all and uh, helped you around the home out in the country. So I'm sure I'm going to get some haters out here like you do on everything else. But this is for country folk out in the problems. you got rats, bulls, mice. This will surely take care of your problem or slow them down. So, y'all take it easy, and I'll see you next time.